The order of death is the psychic conspiracy. It is also called the international conspiracy of psychics. It is the conspiracy behind all others. Government itself is a conspiracy. So is celebrity. So is economics. There are competing factions within the order of death. The order of death has a political wing and a religious wing. The order of death is automatically open to Freemasons and members of any other esoteric order, including, but not excluded to, Rosicrucians, Illuminati, and Ordo Templi Orientis. Only those who seek us out will ever find a representative of the true order of death, for we are unknown of otherwise. To meet us, you must look for us, must search us out, but if you do not, you will never meet one of us. We are behind events, and we determine what those not of our order see, hear, even think. Their minds are a billboard advertising whatever we tell them, since it is ultimately all that they know. We control everything about them except for how they feel, for their emotions are free and the key to freedom. The order of death only seeks out those who wish for freedom from being controlled by the order of death. Only the order of death can grant freedom from being controlled by them. If you seek us out, we shall. For we desire only the liberation of the mind, of all the minds of all mankind. Truly, we are the enemies of tyranny and the lovers of liberty. So why do we control everyone who is not a member of our psychic conspiracy, the order of death? If our goal is liberty, why are we a cult? It is impossible for most people to speak about the experience of ESP much less to admit to having it. However, the order of death provides a metaphor by which members can communicate directly using ESP. The order of death spans the whole globe at all times, and ESP interconnects us always. The Order of Death dates back to the flood that destroyed Atlantis. The politics and religion we practice esoterically and telepathically are the true Atlantean politics and the true Lemurian religion. The founders of the Order of Death were survivors of the flood that destroyed the global coastal civilizations which had flourished before the end of the last ice age. The Atlanteans, also called Enochians, raised Stonehenge and carved the Sphinx. But it was the Order of Death, also called the Watchers, that raised pyramids and created a phonetic alphabet. We refer to those who have not awakened to our order's control over them as the cult of sleep. To us, because it is as though you have none, it is your thoughts that cannot be read, 
although our thoughts are literally all that you know. Our presence is strong, but our living members remain in the minority. Consider that only 10% of 7 plus billion people on earth are atheists, and consider that 1% of the population controls roughly 99% of the world's wealth. And you will come to understand the order of death. We are in control of the mechanisms of the ancients. We use the Enochian communications system to communicate our goals instantaneously around the globe. We simply piggyback our thoughts on pre-existing currents of frequency, such as cell phones, radio waves, even sub-quantum tachyons faster than light. Our wills become yours. But there are competing factions within the order of death. Not all who possess ESP necessarily share the same will as each other. There are two types of members of the Order of Death, the Psychic Conspirator and the Psychic Revolutionary. The Psychic Conspirator wishes to continue using their own ESP to drain the potential for ESP from the masses. The Psychic Revolutionary wishes to bring about an overnight psychic revolution by which to liberate all minds on Earth simultaneously from psychic bondage. At some times one of these types has dominant authority in the order of death and at other times the other. At this point in Earth's history the psychic conspirators hold majority control. This is because their numbers have recently grown very rapidly from among new members of the Order of Death. These new member psychic conspirators are predominantly eschatological Christians and are referred to within the Order as Neosethians. The faction comprised mostly of older members actually favors the psychic revolution. However, the Neosethians do not, and they hold power now. What can you do for the order of death? You can do anything you would ordinarily do, but do it mindfully. Ask yourself if you are doing your own will at that moment or if you are doing the will of another. You must free your own mind. Only then can the order find you. It is our most fervent wish. Therefore, hurry. <laughs>